As the name implies, transformational leadership is a process that changes and transforms people. It is concerned with emotions, values, ethics, standards, and longer-term goals. It includes assessing followers' motives, satisfying their needs, and trusting them as full human beings. Transformational leadership involves an exceptional form of influence that moves followers to accomplish more than what is usually expected of them. Transformational versus transactional leadership. Transactional leadership is focused on production and reward. If you don't meet the quota, you're fired. If you meet the quota, you get paid. If you exceed the quota, you get a bonus. Transformational leadership is a process whereby a person engages with others and creates a connection that raises the level of motivation and morality in both leaders and followers. Pseudo-transformational leadership is leaders who are self-consumed, exploitive, power-oriented, and warped moral values. This kind of leadership should be avoided. Nordhaus says charismatic leadership is often described in ways that make it similar to, if not synonymous with, transformational leadership. But charismatic leaders demonstrate specific behaviors like modeling beliefs and values, competence and effective motivational communication, and naive idealistic goals. I have a dream. The BASS model, BASS placed transformational leadership on a continuum with transactional leadership, rather than completely separating them. Followers do more than is expected because they are conscious of a value of idealized goals, transcend their self-interest in favor of team, and address higher level needs. This is in contrast to laisser faire, which means Let it be. leadership, which is no leadership at all. Idealized influence is the role model everyone wants to emulate. Inspirational motivator is the ability to motivate people to a shared vision. Intellectual stimulation inspires people to be creative and innovative and to challenge beliefs and values. Individualized consideration provides support, questions, and a listening ear. The full range of leadership model includes laissez-faire. Transactional and transformational leadership as parts of a continuum from ineffective to effective and passive to active. In order to understand the full range of leadership model, first we have to understand a few terms. Passive management by exception intervenes only after standards have not been met and problems have arisen. Active management by exception watches followers closely for mistakes or rule violations and takes corrective action. Contingent reward is an exchange between leaders and followers in which efforts by followers are exchanged for specific rewards. And transformational leadership follows the four eyes. Of the four possible approaches to leadership, the most effective and active is transformational leadership. Again, laissez faire. Let it be. Is really no leadership at all. Benis Ananus found that transformational leadership was effective, especially if leaders incorporated shared organizational vision, social architectural design, high trust environments, and creative use of leaders' strengths without dwelling on weaknesses. Kausas and Posner found leaders must model the way, inspire shared vision, challenge the process, enable others to act, and encourage the heart. This all sounds roughly the same as what has already been said, but has a bit of nuance. They developed a leadership practices inventory instrument to measure leadership competencies. Some strengths of transformational leadership. Nordhaus quotes several studies that indicate and conclude that transformational leadership is well researched, it's intuitive, includes leaders and followers rather than only focusing on leaders, augments other leadership models, emphasizes followers' needs, values, morals, motivation, and evidence points to transformational leadership being effective and multi-factor leadership questionnaire shows that transformational leadership can be effective in a variety of situations. Some weaknesses, claims against it. It lacks conceptual clarity. The validity of the instrument, the multi-factor leadership questionnaire, has been questioned. Transformational leadership seems like a charismatic transformational personality rather than a learnable behavior. There is no evidence that transformational leadership actually transforms individuals or organizations. Transformational leadership seems elitist and anti-democratic without emphasizing reciprocal influence and shared leadership. Transformational leadership can be abused 
how followers challenge transformational leaders is not clearly explained. Nordhaus lists several people that are examples of charismatic and transformational leaders. Among them are Nelson Mandela, Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King, and John F. Kennedy. Notice all of these leaders were political leaders. Nordhaus also describes case studies of an effective and less effective transformational leaders in business. But on the SAGE website, there's a different kind of transformational leader. Chris Jordan, a photographer, has dedicated his art to teaching the world the cost of an overconsumptive society. Teresa saw a stage performance of Proof with an all African American cast. The protagonist was a lady whose intellectual contributions were doubted. Our music school, the Bangalore Conservatory, is dedicated to building people to build a better world through music. Please contemplate all of these examples and consider the following questions for our discussion. Are there examples from your own experience with visual performing arts, which were transformational? Compare and contrast the individual artists from the corporate CEO to apply the four component or four eyes model. Does art need additional approaches to meet the criteria of transformational leadership?